I'm jacked. I'm jacked to the test! Looks as good as on paper. We're in the kill zone, pal. We're locked and loaded. Hi there guys, welcome back to the TRDR console. Bitcoin putting in some nice moves over the last 24 hours and from the weekend. So in this video we're going to drop in a little bit of context on where we have come from, where we're going here and what we can possibly look at and plan for in the coming days or weeks. Okay, So what I want to do first is basically review back quickly our old demand area that was down here at 38.39, review where we've gone from up into this monthly POC and the continuation we've got okay uh, just to highlight you know what we are seeing now we're seeing some slight bearish divergences up here but that is to be expected and we're seeing you know really really large open interest so I just want to drop a little bit of context on that and how we can possibly plan going forward and to do that let's go look at um, a couple of weeks ago history and see what we're planning for in this area okay so this was back in the lows back on the 18th of january and this is what we we're looking for in the socials and on the live discord chats um looking to basically deviate into these lows with some bull divs and some low open interest okay so that was to bid this back up um not a, not an exact target here as you can see of 39.9 we did eventually go lower but just to show you kind of some of the preparation that we we put in and you know wait for if the price will get there okay eventually came down this was on the 20th okay so we get those bull divs into the lows with btc diamonds firing come back up to that that range there all right eventually wick back down okay so we did wick back down and we struck just above 38 at this time coinbase pro were defending that zone there were some good top levels there we've still got bull divs okay we've still got low open interest we had low funding as well all right so for me that was a really really nice area to get bullish okay and get some risk on the market um, and that's also what we're saying on the YouTube videos here as well. So this was back on the 23rd of Jan. Okay. Uh, bidding Barry's bags. Okay. At the time, Barry Silver was still offloading his GBTC um, into some big bid depth on Coinbase Pro and Binance. A billion bid depth we saw in the books. The biggest bid depth we've ever seen. Okay. So bidding Barry's bags back on the 23rd. Uh, then we go to the 25th. The trend is. The trend is your friend all right so we're just basically putting in high lows on the macro trend um, then we push up to the 30th and we were really really pushing on by and then okay last week a little bit sideways off the monthly POC not a lot happening and um, but we did eventually get continuation from that you know I was looking for continuation back here on the first took a little bit of time but we eventually got it all right so for me what I'm saying back here is and from those tweets is basically this this is your time all right back here this is your time to get bullish in these lows all right for me personally now the plan of action would be preparation for the next moves okay so this was last week spot selling below 50k cb pro had a lot of spot selling there and you've got you this big extension okay trending nicely all looks good moving into the weekend we still had spot selling below 48 and basically said here that uh, most um sunday spot of you most 48.6k offers taken leaving some liquidity gaps and defensive 50k okay so that was sunday going into monday and then we had a big liquidity gap as well um there, just under 46.9 to 46.7 okay so a bit of a gap there as well uh, yesterday morning supply continues and potentially building volume bear divs with rising open interest for any deeper cut 44.5 well we all know what happened yesterday obviously we've just pushed up and attacked this 50k region so another another few percent up on bitcoin while we start to potentially get these bear divs okay so from these lows that we've just seen on the old twitter feed and the old youtube that's your time to get bullish and excitable in the market i would say now as we extend into these highs it's very nice to see those profits that i hope you're all making and you know we're not particularly talking about spot 
positions here, okay? More talking about derivatives, uh, perpetuals, positions, okay? But is this now a time, okay, to potentially look at taking profit on some of those derivatives trades and maybe hedging or looking to hedge a position short for any moves back down, all right? That's the kind of context I just want to draw upon is this is your zone to get bullish. If anyone's getting bullish and extra frothy, like I see on crypto Twitter up here, okay, well, my opinion, it's time just to plan the next move. Plan the next move, okay, so plan here, plan here, diddle in the middle here, do absolutely nothing, sit on your hands, long, do nothing, plan for your next move, okay, so let's dive in some data now on the TRDR console, let's have a look at volume, let's have a look at open interest, let's have a look at the OBD and see if we've got any continuation bid going on, okay, so first of all, let's just jump in here. Um, we can see we've really, really extended out of our range now. This is our old range. Um, we held the month, so this was our last bid. Held the monthly POC, really, really extended out of the range now. Okay, so quickly here, let's just go to our, let me just go to our OBC and see what we can decipher there. Okay, so you've got on a one day yeah i mean you've still got you've still got a stack of offers you've got these liquidity gaps here you see where there's no number okay so they can offer a little bit of wick space because you've basically got no activity in the books there at all so yeah i could still easily see us extend up here into the 51k zone um, and get a bit of wick space up there um, and then beyond that yeah you've got a lot of gaps up here you, you know you really have and then no doubt to be honest i don't even need to scroll down here you've probably got a lot of depth building lower yeah so immediately there right down to 47.3 and again you just see these small liquidity gaps these small areas that are potentially going to offer wick space all right another thing to note yep potential potential volume bear divs on high open interest okay so that's just something to watch for these can play out just in the same way that your bull divs can take a while to play out because i am on a one hour chart with a slightly slower look back okay but these can take a while to play out but just something to bear in mind okay keep get this open and if you continue to extend higher into any supply as these bear divs continue okay then yeah definitely time to think about hedging a short position taking a bit of profit on your derivatives trades okay let's jump into the obc quickly let me just go to our jewel tab and have a look at what's going on here on a 15 minute okay so we did hit a btc diamond sell here yesterday um which obviously not invalidated yet because you're probably still within a two and a half percent range there okay but one thing to note is there's not much activity going on right now um i mean if you were short there you certainly yeah you could get invalidated easily in the next 12 to 24 hours um let me just go back to a 15 minute and see what everyone else is doing okay so coinbase pro and um, they've still got some selling going on here um, no major top levels that's the only trouble at the minute if you're thinking about you know putting a hard short position on I'd, I wouldn't be so eager to you know because there's no hard top levels here at all uh, Qcoin they've had some quite good levels at the minute okay yeah they offloaded a little bit of position here okay yeah so they've got a level at 51.5 that's interesting to see did Binance have anything there not really I think there was when we went and looked at the OBC but nothing nothing of too much significance i would say at the minute perpetuals have obviously filled and uh, have followed up the bid here okay so a little bit of market making going on here from perpetuals no real major depth here but i do expect that from this extended uh, trend out of the range i don't expect to see this bid to just absolutely fill back up here okay the best you're going to probably get is some usdt and some dollar levels just coming in and just starting to float and bid this back up and then maybe push it into a little bit more supply all right so yeah not too much to see from the actual order but you're probably going to get a bit of market bidding really that's going to push this one way or another uh, TUSD that's interesting to see you can see these guys are trading at a premium just over 51 there 
and FDUSD as well okay so yeah just something to keep an eye on not expecting too much to be honest after that push up in the next few hours um, the flows on the US session bear in mind this video is getting made pre London session so the flows in the US session have been really really good and you can just see the volatility you're getting and the moves you're getting from the US sessions uh, have been really really good compared to like a European session um, you know you really want to try and avoid those kind of sideways price action moves and trade with the volume to be honest okay so yeah keep an eye on that US session really really good to trade in at the minute okay let's just have a look at uh, liquidity and see what's been going on so we know open interest is high LS ratio here these guys have actually been the LS ratio have been generally on the right side of the market although a little bit early um, in the past few months so you can see here a uh, little bit early obviously they got churned out a little bit there um, yeah they're not too bad yep okay that was an okay one yep okay they you know they closed out positions there or hedged a short they got caught off guide there but then the last time was in the ETF um, week here Okay, so LS ratio ETF week here. Yep, they were on the right side of the market for the time being. Came back and then you know got some got some longs going on there. But yeah, high open interest, um, perpetuals. Not a lot to see there. The books aren't too frothy, really. We are down at these kind of 1.3 billion to 1.2 billion range, um, and spot books the same really. You know we're not at these highs like you've seen before. Okay, so this was ETF week when the spot books were really, really full. And uh, similar here back on the 6th of December, spot books really, really full on high open interest. Okay, high open interest in these zones as well. So not a lot to see from um, from there, to be honest. It really wouldn't surprise me if you just come down a little bit and then get some continuation because we have broken out. You know, you've, you've come out of this kind of zone. Um, and yeah it wouldn't surprise me just to come down a little bit and get some continuation all right and um, bid is probably gonna stay a little bit dynamic now so that is something to watch for um, what I would say is watch your biggest exchanges so your Binance perps Binance spot and just watch for any I'll just have to go to a 15 minute again just watch for any dynamic bidding that comes in here let me just refresh that I don't know why the top levels are not pairing on there there we go I don't know why the top levels weren't coming in okay so watch for these any dynamic bidding what i mean by that is these usdt levels coming up and really defending the zone as bid comes in okay so bid overlays come in so yeah certainly people have been doing a bit of selling in this area um 50k defended to a certain extent so far but your next top level now on btc your next biggest top not until 52 okay so you know not not an area you have to short a position and don't worry if you miss a short or anything you know you don't have to short a position you know just take a little bit of uh, profit on your longs all right and just just secure what you've got already um, see the timelines getting very very frothy at the minute everyone gets excitable in these zones and you know as a <sighs> As I said earlier, that's not that's not really my position and what I'm into. I'll get excitable here, okay? I'll get bored in here because it's just crab. <laughs> All right, it's just absolutely it's crabbing. Okay, bulls on a break. What's going on, sort of thing? Oh, a snail moving, you know, and then we obviously start to move. But this isn't it, you know. So get excited here. Do nothing here. And what I'm just trying to highlight today is this is an area of what what's your next plan? If we do come down okay do you want to hedge a position or you know if you think it's coming down do you want to hedge a position um, short here okay at the minute there's no major top levels to suggest this zone is getting defended so it could just float up um, but do you you know just want to take a little bit of profit and then review as we go and then if you're taking a bit of profit here where would you want to get some you know fresh exposure and yeah we're mainly talking perps here um, you know if you're looking at spot these were your zones really at the lows um, to be honest you know unless you're looking to hold for extremely long term and you don't mind any downside all right so just yeah plan here do nothing here plan here what's your next move okay so it will be live in the discord later at the US open session 
hopefully we'll get a little bit more volatility there not expecting too much in the next couple of hours and uh, we'll review from there all right guys speak soon it's a wazzy it's a woozy it's a fairy dust